Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so I had a friend yesterday who reached out to me and uh, basically just, you know, we were talking about um, the YouTube channel and, and my blog and, and all the different things that I've been working on. And um, she basically just wanted advice. And, you know, my thing about this is that we all have, um, you know, we all have different reasons why we're starting uh, what we're doing. Um, for me, it's, you know, with my blog, it was, I was going through cancer and I was having a really hard time with it. And so I wanted to use it initially as a way to kind of get through my situation. Um, and then that kind of turned into um, writing with the purpose of sharing a message that could help somebody out there um, that might be going through a similar situation. Um, so that's why I started my blog. And then I just wanted to find some new ways to really get out and share my messages and, um, you know, help other people and, and reach other people and, you know, let them know that they're not alone. And so I started the YouTube channel and, um, it's been very well received, which is awesome. It, it still isn't quite where I'd, I'd like for it to be, honestly. Um, you know, I want to see this grow into something even bigger because my point is, is to, um, you know, to reach as many people as possible. I, I don't, I don't even really know what the exact thing was that really triggered it. I just pretty much just ran out of excuses to not do it. And, you know, then you guys surprised me and have been amazingly receptive and you all are encouraging me and it's, it's helped me see the value in it. Um, yes, I wanted it to do well, but I didn't have that high of an expectation of it reaching people to the extent that it has. So, you know, am I making a million dollars? Absolutely not. I'm not making money from these videos right now. And that's fine. Um, you know, if that's part of my meant to be story in my life, then it will be in its own time. Um, you're probably not gonna, you know, you're not gonna become a millionaire overnight, chances are, no matter what you do. Uh, I mean, you know, join, you know, enter the lottery if that's what you're going for, but even that, you know. Uh, but, you know, you're not gonna get rich overnight. Figure out your why. And, and hopefully you all know what I mean by that, but if you don't know what I mean, I mean, figure out why you want to do what you're trying to do. Figure out why it's important uh, and figure out how you're going to accomplish it and what does it take to do it. Um, and you know, sometimes, sometimes the answer to how is to just get into it. Just do it, put a video out, put a vlog out, put, you know, a song out on YouTube, whatever it is, just do it um, and see what happens. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, it's really easy to get wrapped up in the fear of failure. I get it. I've been there. I've been there many, many times, actually. Um, but at the end of the day, I always remind myself, why? Why did I do this? Why did I? Why is this important to me? You know, why do I want to do this? You know, I know what my why is. You know, it's it's not to get rich and famous. It's to actually legitimately help people, um, you know, and do something that I enjoy doing. Um, you know, not everything's about money. Um, you know, and, and yes, you do need money to survive. Um, but I think that um, it's really important to enjoy what you do. Um, you know, have a bigger reason than you just want to make money and you want to have, you know, a million followers or whatever. Um, because those things are temporary and, you know, 
for me anyway, I, I just really wanted to do something that was emotionally fulfilling. I wanted to do some things that I could go back and, you know, point out it and say, I did that. And I'm really proud of that. And, you know, those are the things that fuel me. Those are the things that help keep me going. It's scary. Um, you know, it, you could fail. It's very possible you could fail. But it's also very possible that it could go fantastically. Um, but if you don't get out there and do it, you'll never know. Just remember that everything we go through, every um, setback that we have or whatever it is, it's all part of life. It's all part of the learning experience. It's all part of the growing experience. Um, you know, I, to yourself, said this before, but I never imagined that I would be doing YouTube videos. But my reason why was because I wanted to reach more people. And I knew that writing was only one part of that. And so I realized that I was, in a sense, holding myself back from fear of getting into that next step, which is YouTube videos. Sometimes you just have to get over your fear of failure and your fear of things not panning out and just do it because if you don't, you know, that that's a potentially a missed opportunity to help people. It's a missed opportunity, um, you know, to grow and you don't benefit from, um, holding yourself back, um, in regards to like, if there's something out there you really want to do and then you just choose not to do it because you're afraid. Like that doesn't help you in the long run. Um, and it, it puts a lot of other types of doubts. Like you may have doubts about getting into whatever it is, YouTube, writing, music, whatever it is. Um, but I promise you that you're going to have a lot more doubts about yourself if you don't at least give it a try. So, um, that's my advice. Um, like just get out there, put yourself out there. You're going to experience growth fast. Just the feeling that I got from writing my first blog and putting it out there and having even one person read it was awesome. And then, you know, that started to grow as I grew. You know, my blog in particular um, has grown a lot. Um, I started out on like just a regular blogger website and then turned it into a full-blown uh website, which is what you see now, which is meant to be lindsayb.com. Um, but I wasn't writing for anybody else. I was writing out of emotional survival and hoping that there was somebody else out there that either well, maybe had already been through the experience and would see my story and reach out and help me navigate through the situation. Or, you know, there might be at least one person out there that, that is starting to go through what I had already been through and was gaining something from my experience. Because I also think that everything we go through is meant to be. Um, and I've said it before, but like it, you know, it helps us grow. It helps challenge us. It helps us appreciate the good stuff too. And um, I, I really, I understand that the fear seems so overwhelming when you're first trying to get into anything. But I really do feel like the fear of failing is not nearly as bad as the sense of regret you get if you don't pursue it and you don't follow your heart. And at the end of the day, I don't think any of us really know what we're doing. There are so many people out there that are told, don't do this, don't do that. Um, that's never going to work. But look how many people that are out there that prove people wrong. Just know that, you know, you have just as much of an ability to give back to the world and, and do something meaningful as anyone else. But make sure you know your why. Don't do it for the money or don't only do it for the money, I should say. Do it because you love it. It's fulfilling to you. And the rest will fall into place. 
And if it doesn't, guess what? There are so many other things out there um, that are possible. And so take it one thing at a, at a time. Take it one goal at a time. You know, make lists. Make lists of your dreams. Make lists of your uh, short-term goals, your long-term goals, um, things you'd like to do. I think it's really good to constantly evolve. Um, you know, make your make your list, change your list, update your list. You know, mark things off as you've done it. Because, you know, if you look at a list like that as a whole, it can get really overwhelming. Um, but if you look at it as, you know, numbers 1 through 3 rather than 1 through 103, um, it's a little bit more achievable. And so I would just say just do it. Just just start by writing a list and go from there and start with you know, start with some of the easier stuff that so you can really like help build your confidence and like, okay, I've got this. I can do it. Um and, you know, then reach start reaching out to people. You know, start doing research. Figure out um figure out what it would take to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish and then start doing it one step at a time and just see what happens you know um for me when I put my blog out there and specifically when I put my um short-term bucket list out there I was really 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 excited when I realized that there were so many other people out there that liked the idea um and wanted to be a part of my journey um, and there will be pick, figure out what your thing is. You know, for me, I figured out that I like being involved in a whole bunch of different projects at a time. So that's what I do. And, you know, for you, it might be one thing, but figure out what that one thing is and do what you can do to accomplish it. Uh, because it, it just can't happen if you, if you don't put the effort in, um, it won't, um, happen if you're not really, um, into it. Like if your heart's not in it, why, why do it? You know, um, so many people get jobs just to survive because it's what we're supposed to do. Um, but not that many people are as fulfilled as they would like to be. I'm one of those people, you know, I have so many other things that I want to do with my life that it is easy to look at what you haven't accomplished rather than all of the things that you have accomplished. So, you know, again, keep your eye on the prize, uh, but also, you know, make sure you're giving yourself credit along the way too. Uh, make sure that you're, you know, acknowledging that you have, you know, created steps one of 100 or whatever it is, you know, because that's the beginning. The beginning is just as important as the middle and the end result, because without the beginning, there is no middle and there is no end. So don't, don't get wrapped up in the fact that it's, you know, things are going slow or they're not working out like you thought that they were. Figure out how to create what you do want it to look like, um, and, you know, do your research, figure out, you know, figure out if there are other people out there that have, that have done what you've done and have done it successfully. And, you know, I'm not saying copy people, but at the same time, like figure out what's worked for them, figure out what you like and don't like, um, from what they've done and figure out a way to build your own thing, whatever that it is. Um, but again, all of that can't happen until you figure out your why. So that being said, figure out your why and then figure out your how and then just do it. Um, that's pretty much it. I, that's all I've got. I don't have all the answers. Um, but I really appreciated that, um, my friend reached out to me and, you know, told me that she really likes what I'm doing because I think that that's really important. I'm not like, it's not the only thing that's important, but it is really, really nice when you do put your heart into something and somebody else can see that and appreciate that. So, um, be authentic, be yourself, do what feels right, figure out how to do it, do it. And that's it. 
The rest will fall into place if it's meant to be. Um, you know, I only started my YouTube channel maybe four months ago now. and Not even at this point. Um, but, you know, I didn't know. I had no idea what to do with these videos or how to get started, where to get started, any of that. So, um, you know, I just did. I kind of just put my first video out and, you know, I based a lot of my videos, for the most part anyway, off of, you know, the questions that I see online from people, like what are people wanting to know? What are people curious about? What are they nervous about? Whatever, whatever it is, you know, I just pay attention to the world around me and I follow the need uh, based off of that. And I follow, you know, I kind of cater you know, my goals to fit into what would help the most people. And that's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, so, I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do it except to not do it. Um, because you've just, you've just got to put your, yourself out there. Um, it's scary. It's intimidating. Um, you're probably going to fail somewhere along the way. But you also can't let that one little setback or that one little failure, you know, um, hold you back. Um, it's part of life. Um, it's part of the learning and growing experience. Like, you can't, um, you know, you can't figure out what's right until you figure out what's wrong. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm learning every day. I have, you know... Some videos I've done are, are, you know, random and just whatever. Um, you know, some, some videos are just not popular. Some have blown my expectations away uh, with how popular they've been. Um, so, you know, start with a list and go from there. Um, and put everything out there. Like, put everything on the list that you possibly could do, want to do, you know, want to do, but you're not sure how to, like, just, just put it all out there and take it one step at a time. And don't get discouraged if it's slow. I know that that's the hardest part. Um, I've experienced that with every project I've ever taken on. And, um, just know that if it's meant to be, um, you know, it'll work out. Um, anyway, I, you know, a friend kind of triggered, uh, the idea of this video and uh so i hope that this video helps this person and um hopefully it helps some of you out there too um anyway um if you have you know specific questions about you know getting into youtube you know vlogging or you want to get into you know regular blogging or you know whatever you know i would love to um you know be a resource for you and and you know, point you in the right direction and, and kind of let you know what's worked for me, what hasn't worked and, you know, and keeping in mind that not, you know, what works for me might not work for you and that's fine. Um, but I would love to be, you know, part of your journey too, if you do decide to, uh, you know, pursue something like this. So that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was just on my heart and, uh, just wanted to, um, you know, share my personal experience and my personal advice on those things. Um, I know that it's hard, but you'll figure it out. And, um, you know, if I can ever help you out in any way, shoot me a message. Let me know what I can do. I would love to help you out and help you figure out how to get uh, to your next step to accomplishing your goals. Anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like it and leave me a comment. Let me know what else you want to hear. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.